Olympic boxing is a world away from the unrelenting savagery of the professional ranks, where the quest for gold is built on scoring points by landing punches of any power. Big time boxing is about pure violence. It's just a different kettle of fish, I think. That's what drives people to come and watch. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like a gladiatorial arena. So it's no wonder that of the 223 boxers to win gold by the 2008 games, only 38 went on to win a professional world title. Of those 38, even fewer have gone on to become household names. So let's take a look at the greatest male boxers to ever conquer the Olympics. In 1968, an 18-year-old behemoth named George headed to Mexico as the United States heavyweight candidate. But with only 18 amateur fights to his name, many believed he would be overwhelmed. With one decision, two stoppages, and a knockout, Big George took gold in the Cold War final by finishing Soviet fighter Jonas Sapulis in two rounds. Foreman went on to a storied career, becoming champion twice, the first time by stopping his Olympic predecessor and previously undefeated Joe Frazier. Lennox Lewis hoped to emulate Big George by winning gold at 18, but lost a quarterfinal decision to Terrell Biggs. He held off going pro for four years just to get another shot. And what a shot it was. He stopped his first opponent in the second round, his second opponent in 34 seconds. His semifinal opponent didn't even show up, and he won gold stopping the future champ, Riddick Bowe. Lewis lived up to his potential when he became the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world in 1999, the last man to have held that title. The plan was for Vladimir Klitschko to win heavyweight gold and his brother Vitaly to win super heavyweight gold at Atlanta in 96. But when Vitaly tested positive for a banned steroid, his younger brother had to step up a division. But it didn't change the eventual outcome. Unlike the previous knockout artists, Klitschko outpointed his opponents, displaying all of the wiliness of his 134 and 6 amateur record. When he went pro, Klitschko went on to hold the longest cumulative championship reign in boxing history, ruling the big boy division for a full decade. The only non-heavyweight on our list, Sugar Ray Charles Leonard, saw the Olympics as a great way to get out of boxing. After a superb amateur career, he swore to never go professional, hoping to go to college after Montreal 76. Leonard danced his way to the light welterweight gold, winning five unanimous decisions in a row. They simply couldn't touch Sugar. Luckily for fans, financial pressures made him go professional. He became a five-division champion and the first fighter to make $100 million. Earning the nickname the Mayor of Olympic Village, an 18-year-old Muhammad Ali charmed everyone he met. No one at Rome 60 knew the man they called Cassius would become a legend. Ali's speed and exuberance claimed two unanimous decisions and a stoppage on his way to the final, where he won gold by outpointing Poland's bloodied and beaten fighter Zbigniew Peter Zakowski. The story is that he threw his medal into the Ohio River. True or not, he received a replacement in 96 when he lit the Olympic flame in Atlanta as the most famous name in sport history. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.